This is an Optimax liquid sensor. Right. So this is kind of nice because it's a, you know, electronics and water don't mix. So it's kind of sometimes difficult to make a good liquid sensor because you don't want to oxidize or damage or, or flood your electronics. But this is a really nice solid state sensor and it's completely enclosed in plastic and it works very well. Uh, it's very simple. You just power it up from four and a half up to 15 volts. And then the output just is low or high. That's it. It's like super simple, not a lot going on. And um, it's fully enclosed, like I said, it comes with a gasket and it's got a, an IR uh, LED and a photo transistor inside. And then it's, it's just tuned so that when it's in air or in, in dirt or whatever, um, the light doesn't reflect back, but in water, the light reflects right back into the sensor and it detects that. So I have a little demo here I can show off in case you need the video. So I just got some, I've got some, well, I got it connected up to like a Metro Mini and it's powered here and then, um, you know, it just quickly detects if it's in water. Um, oftentimes people put it into the tub like sideways. And so then when the l level hits a certain level or you can put it from below, um, but it's nice. It's, it's like waterproof here. It's like, it's a good solid sensor. So you're, you're gonna pay a little bit more than a little low cost like PCB sensor, but trade off is you've got a really nice that thing works. that works quite well. If the whole thing is submerged, it's fine. It could text you and say your- Your bilge tank your is bilge. You have a leak. You have a leak. So nice. And it works even um, even just like touching it like a little bit. It's very sensitive. So it's okay even if it's, yeah, you know, sensitive. not completely immersed. So I like this like uh, water sensor. It works quite well. Okay. Let's check that out. Easy to use too. Which okay. I like.